Hey everyone, Melanie here. If you're anything like me, you'll be making Bruzy faster than you can drink it or share it with your friends. So understanding how to properly store your wine is so important. Store-bought wine is full of sulfites and preservatives to keep it stable on supermarket shelves for years. Because Bruzy doesn't contain added sulfites or preservatives, it's a natural living product. So it can't just sit out at room temperature unless we make some adjustments. The easiest way to store your Bruzy is just right in the fridge. The cool temperatures will keep any living cultures from continuing to transform your wine past your liking. When you store Bruzy in the fridge, make sure to leave the lid loosened, no matter the kind of container you're using. The only exception is after you've cold crashed and racked four times using the four step prep routine. This helps to guarantee we've manually filtered out most living cultures. After this, you should feel free to store your Bruzy in the fridge with the lid tightened. There's so many reasons why you'd wanna prep your Bruzy to store at room temperature whether it's sending it as a gift or simply because you've run out of fridge space, like me. The good news is that it's really freaking easy. There are two ways to prepare your Bruzy for room temperature storage, the traditional method and the modern method. The traditional method is just the same four step prep routine from earlier. It's cold crashing and racking until no more sediment gathers at the bottom. The modern method for room temperature storage is what most non-Bruzy winemakers do. It involves adding potassium sorbate and potassium metabisulfite. Potassium metabisulfite halts the living yeast in their tracks, and potassium sorbate prevents those yeasts from reproducing. When combined, these two safe compounds stop fermentation in 24 hours. Even the ancient Greeks used similar naturally derived compounds to preserve their wine. All we need to do is make sure we've cold crashed and racked once. Then we add a half teaspoon of each to our entire bruzy batch. Swirl your bruzy to make sure it's evenly distributed. Then let this sit with the lid loosened or the airlock on and let those compounds work for 24 hours in the fridge. Then rack it once more, making sure to degas. That means remove carbonation and bottle it up for room temperature storage. Right before you cork your bruzy, add just a pinch, that's about an eighth of a teaspoon or so, of potassium metabisulfite to each and every bottle. And that's it, your bottles are good to go. That's the end of our series for now, but definitely not our friendship. In addition to awesome support from our super cool expert winemakers, we have our online community where everyone is creative, helpful, and fun. Personally, I think it's the best place on the internet, and I think you will too. Naturally, we all want a huge bruzy community, so please like and subscribe to our channel so that you're the first to know when we post new tips, tricks, and recipes. We love to hear from our bruzy winemakers, so leave your comments and suggestions below, and don't forget to share our info over a glass of your amazing wine. Cheers.